Hi guys, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I have a tutorial on how to use a new enamel pin builder. So this is a new set of styles and actions that helps you create little digital enamel pins for your kits or for your layouts. Um, really a lot of fun. I think you're going to love it. I have really enjoyed playing with it. It's almost so much that I was getting toward being late on releasing this. Um, but here we go. As you see the little background here, it's lots of cute little enamel pins. Super cute. All right, so there's several different ways you can use this set. Um, first, you can use it for simple layers, meaning, for example, let's say I just wanted these little sprinkles to be um, an enamel pin. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take these layers, duplicate them into a new document. You want to make sure that when you're working with this um, enamel builder, you want to go ahead and have your layers uh, be in their own documents, these little elements that you're working with, so nothing messes up with anything else if you do end up using the actions. All right, so if I wanted to use this one, I'm going to use the action of simple enamel pen. It's easy as it says, go ahead, It's um, you use a rasterized layer. You're going to choose your foreground color to be the color that you want the metal around it. So if you want a gold, you would choose a gold color. If you'd want black, you would use, you know, a darker color, silver, etc. Just play around until you get the color you'd like. All right, and I'm going to hit play. That's going to tell you to do the same thing. Um, it's just a reminder because I know I forget, so maybe you guys forget too. So as you can see there, as I run the action, we have these cute little enamel elements. Aren't they so sweet? Um, this is a smart object. So you're going to be able to double click on this to then um, edit how this looks. So you can change the depth by playing with the different enamel styles um, and, and whatnot. I'm not going to save that. Now you're going to see here there's this pin um, rim shadow. It's an extra style that I have included that gives a little more depth. So if you, you can turn it off and on here. If you don't want it, delete it. If you do want it, keep it go ahead and merge your layers together and you're done merge visible I should say now I want to go ahead and give it depth even more depth I'm going to make sure again that my rim color is still the same and then I'm going to choose play just like that and you can see there it gives it just a little bit of a 3d effect pretty fun um, this is a smart object, so you could edit it a little more if you'd like. If not, you're done. And this is your new element. Rasterize the layer and uh, save it as something new. Let's say you're going to work with a um, multi-layer object. For example, this is a donut. Now, before I get into this, I want to show you the cupcake again. Because the cupcake and the donut are very different. Um, the cupcake here, as you can see, if you look at each layer, and this happens a lot when we're playing with um, layered objects and we build things, there's the wrapper, and then you have um, the little icing on top, and then we have each one of the little hearts. Well, when we add the metal rim to all of these, we could use the create metal rim all layers. Before you do that, I want you to go ahead and merge layers together that are like that are not overlapping. For example, I'm merging, in this case, all the hearts together. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this action. You're going to see something strange, but don't worry. <laughs> As you see here, we can see that this wrapper there looks a little off from what we want it to look like. Well, that's because this what the action does is it takes every layer and it adds the stroke around it that style and then it converts that into a smart object so what we're going to do is we're going to go into that smart object and we can see here everything that um everything that's going on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these layers and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to rasterize them rasterize layer style then i'm going to go ahead and use my eraser brush to remove the little extra bits that are overlapping. So in this case, um, we had this guy, he's overlapping over here, and a little bit right there. 
Once I have that done, I'm just going to do control S. It's going to save it and then it would have updated here in our main file. And from there, um, you would follow the exact same steps that I'm going to show you with our donut. <laughs> So here again, I have my, my little donut and he's layered all cute, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and use the create metal rim all layers action. As you can see here, works nicely because none of these layers are um, overlapping one another. So we're good there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the metal style. You'll have that. It'll say rim builder metal rim. That's the style that we're going for. You can also duplicate this layer later on, and you would use this one for the extra depth. That guy right there. Um, it's called the under shadow. <laughs> so we're going to keep him too, but we're going to kind of turn off his visibility now while we get going. Then we have all of these layers. I could go ahead and just simply apply an enamel style and, and say, okay, I'm, I'm done. Just, you know pick the one that I like the best and, and be done with it. But it doesn't quite look right yet. Well, there's a few reasons for this. When enamel is poured and painted in, it's going to pull around these little raised bits, giving it this look that it has, you know, that depth. Whenever we are playing with these layers, it's filling in the entire layer as if that was the one bit. Well, we don't want that. So what we can do is just use our selection tool um, and choose the correct layer that helps as well. And also you'll need to make sure that these layers are not smart objects, that they are rasterized so we can delete from them. Also important. So again, just using my um, magic wand to select the area around. I'm going to go ahead and inverse and I'm going to delete from the icing. Now that looks the way I want it. I'm going to also do the same thing with the donut layer. I'm going to take the icing layers, or I should say layer, but I'm using my selection tool twice. Again, I'm going to inverse, delete that from the donut, just like that. And once I add the metal rim back, it's going to make way more sense. See? Now it looks exactly like we'd like it to. Um, from this point, I'd probably change which style I use for a few of these just to kind of play around. Again, there's several different, some are thicker, some um, are deeper, some are not quite as deep. Very cute. You can play around with those until you're happy with the way it looks. Um, I'm going to take one moment here to double click on this again so I can remember what is the color of the metal because I almost forgot. Again, that's going to have to be our new foreground color. So he's changed. I'm just going to close that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to merge all of these into a smart object. So selecting all of them, converting it to a smart object. Now I'm going to use the give it depth um, action. As you can see there, he's added a bit. I'm um, my document needs to be a little bit bigger, but don't worry, it didn't cut it off. It's all still there. And actually, if I go ahead and image, change our canvas size to 12 by 12, you can see what he looks like on a big old sheet of paper. So actually a pretty decent size pen. Uh, in this case, that one, he's a little bit larger, but I love it. I love it. So that's it. That's how you use this set. It's really not as scary as it might seem. And in fact, if that seemed a bit much to, to deal with, if it seemed a little crazy for you, don't worry. I'm going to show you another way around it um, to end this video. So I'm going to go ahead and close this document and we're going to play with our cupcake this time. Now this cupcake is a pretty large graphic. So I'm going to go ahead and scale this down. I want it to be maybe three quarters of an inch um, tall. So I'm going to put 0.75 in, as you can see there, much, much smaller. <laughs> but now as I work with it, it's all going to make much more sense. All right. So we're just building this using the layers that we have. Again, I'm going to start by using the um, duplicating all of my layers to first. Then I'm going to add the size of the metal rim that I want. I might want to have different um, sizes for different layers. So for this one, I'm going to make the hearts a little bit smaller. I'm going to make this one 
not even like that. This, I'm going to change it to the color of that. It's not going to have an outline though. And for this one, I'm going to rasterize the layer. Let's see, rasterize layer style. We'll do this guy. There we go. Erase that out. All right. Now this one, we're going to change the color to match. Rasterize the layer style and erase that little bit. So now all my little metal parts match. So I'm going to go ahead and merge them together. And then I'm just going to add a style so I can see. Ta-da! All right. Now I've made this super easy for you to do. So now you don't have to worry about deleting from anything. What you can do is you can duplicate these layers again. So you have, we have our little hearts and then we have an extra. On the hearts, we're going to have duplicated the layer, the heart layer again. There's an, a little style called enamel add extras. And what this does is it gives us that little outer pooled effect without having to erase it from the layer underneath. And then on the layer above that, you would then add your typical little enamel. It looks a little crazy without your metal rim, but when you put that on there, it all makes sense. So for this little bit here, for the little wrapper lines, we kept this layer so we could add that again. You can't quite tell as much, but it gives it a little more depth to that area. Very cute. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add our style to these other layers. And there we are, almost totally done, unless you wanted to use the style to add that little extra depth. So I'm gonna keep the metal wire, duplicate that layer, all right, up above, take all of the other ones, merge them together. Remember, this is totally optional to just add this guy for a little extra depth. And there we have it, another little enamel pin. Um, I'm gonna change the canvas size, 12 by 12, so you can see scale. Isn't that the sweetest little thing you ever saw? I am having so much fun making these. I feel like that lady with the, uh, the stamp sponge thing and she's going crazy with the wiggles. That's how I feel. You guys understand what I'm saying, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, here he is, our little pin. So cute, so easy to do. Um, you can either add the depth, not do really simple things or not. Uh, totally up to you and just really a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy the set. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. Have a great day. Bye.